Hey y'all, coming to you from International Headquarters, Scotty DTV, but I was at the 2023 World of Wheels Birmingham, and I came across a very cool 1983 Chevy pickup truck I think y'all are going to like. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll take a quick look at it. Vinny, how are you, brother? Good, man. How you doing? Good, good, man. I like this truck you brought. I appreciate it. We've been building it for a little while now. It's actually for a local guy, but the truck's out of Utah. Uh, we debuted it this year at the SEMA show. Great customer. Just one of those guys that kind of lets you do whatever it is that you want to do. Right. It doesn't really interfere with anything just uh, kind of let you have your own freedom with it. Started off as a pretty nice truck. It was a long bed. Uh, we obviously converted it to short bed. It's got a chassis, uh, LT4 motor, and then uh, auto transmission. We've cleaned up the body. You already know the, all those trucks are pretty sloppy from the get-go. Right. Uh, so gapping everything, making everything fit the way it should, the way we like it to fit. The bumpers have been shaved. Uh, they've been tucked tied, tied, tied to the body and they've been narrowed. The plating was done by Ogden Chrome. Uh, they bailed us out a good bit. Those guys are, are really good at what they do. Uh, interior is done by Ricky, built by yeah. Ricky. Super close to us, really convenient, does a great job also. The paint was done by Joe Miller uh, out in uh, Illinois. This is actually the first one we've ever farmed out. We normally do all of our own paint work, but we're so backed up. Joe was nice enough to come in and lend us a hand. Dude, that is becoming more and more common. I it was is. just having this conversation with somebody, and it's like when you go up and you look at a build, like there's different fabricators, different interior, different paint. You yep. know, it's like at the end of the day, who really built this thing? We don't know. It was a team, you know? Well, and back in the day, we used to do it all. You know, each shop would pretty much do it themselves, at least we did. And then you just get, I mean, we're so overwhelmed with work, and it just seems like everybody needs help. There's not enough help. So, the, the, you know, it's either don't get the thing done when it needs to get done, right. or you just got to ask for help. That's and, right. And sure enough, he stepped up and did a great job, and he built us out for sure. And I think that, you know, there's a lot of people that are still trying to do their own interiors, and that's something that should be farmed out. And sure. uh, I don't have a problem with it. You know, we've always had hired gun painters in the yeah. industry. Yeah. It's just there's so much work out there to be done right now. Right. And if you get somebody that that's all they're doing is painting, at least hopefully you only got to paint it once, right? Right. <laughs> right. And it's on them if you got to paint it twice. So it's probably a way to go. Yeah. And, and like I said, he's doing one more for us. We're actually doing uh, three right now that we're painting. He's doing uh, two for us here this year. So uh, it definitely helps out. Right on. What color is it? Uh, we made the color. We made the color, uh, and then Joe had to match it. So he uh, he fought trying to match it, but uh, I mean we've never named it. But it's just a we base it off of a Porsche or Ferrari blue. Right. Uh, but the Ferrari is a lot lighter. But in pictures, it looks like that. Right. So we wanted it to look the way that Ferrari looks in pictures. So right. we just kind of kept trying until it looked the way that the car looks online and not necessarily in person. Right on. And what about wheels? Spudnik wheels, twenty and twenty two, and they uh, the centers are powder coated. Obviously, the the barrels are polished. That, to match the chrome and all that. That's pretty much I think the wheels we actually had before. We just fitted them. We had them rehooped for that truck. Okay. You can do that? Yeah. Oh. Well, I mean, they had to cut them. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I get that. Is there <laughs> an advantage? No, we just already had them. So, I mean, why not? You know? Right on. He liked them. We put them on the truck for mock up, and then he liked the way they looked. So, we just left them on there. Can't go wrong with that style right. of the wheel, right? Yeah. It goes we're on just, a lot of stuff. Yeah, it's we just not got them refitted. So, right. What is that where it sits, or is it on air or something? No, it's coilovers. It's on spec chassis. Okay. It's just their lower drive height. Right on. But it's great. Yeah. Rides and drives great too. Yeah. How long has it been done? Uh, we finished it for SEMA this year. So oh, good. November the second. Nice. Was this man and boys? Yeah. Right That's on. the first time we drove it. If people want to keep up with what you're doing, what's the best way to do that? Uh, the usual, just Instagram, Facebook. We've got a website too. It's pretty easy to find us. Uh, we pretty much post on there as much as we can. So. And that's V I N I apostrophe S. Yep. V I N I S, hot rods. And you're out of Alabama? We're in Alabaster, Alabama, yeah. So awesome. not far from Birmingham. Great. Brother, thanks so much for giving me some time today. Of course. Thank right. you. So there you go from the 2023 World of Wheels Birmingham, a very cool 1983 Chevrolet C10 square body pickup truck. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya! Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.